It's week number three of Feeding Farmers in the Field. We are in all Glaze County. Joining me is Todd Fetter. And Todd, thanks for having us out. I joked earlier that uh, this may be the first one we actually get to do where there's a lot more field activity. What have you gotten done so far? We've got uh, our corn and beans both started and uh, we're a little over half done. So we need some more weather like we've had this last four days to get things about finished up. Boy, when you get into the ground, though, with weather like the last few days, it comes out in a hurry, doesn't it? It's going to jump out of the ground, I would think. Uh, the ground temperatures are very high, as you know. Uh, we discussed that earlier. And uh, we just want to get it in the ground and let God do the rest. So as you look at priorities quickly coming up, you said you had some wheat. Is it take a priority over getting corner beans in the ground right now, or that is the priority? That uh, the corn and beans are the priority, getting it in the ground, get it out of the bag and get it in the ground. Uh, the wheat's looking pretty good. Um, the head size is, is coming along, so, you know, uh, it's, it's looking as good as what it should. You've got a lot of family to help with the farm as well. Absolutely. My wife's my right hand, uh, my, my complete right side of my body. I got my, my boys helping in the fields, my daughter who uh, uh, put me up for this, and uh, we got another daughter in college at Wright State. Well, you've got a lot of expertise in several areas, and I assume they all know how to drive tractor and get things done because that's what a family operation's all about. Absolutely. They've all spent time in the tractor picking up rocks. That's where you start, picking up rocks, and uh, they've done just about everything that, that I do. So if Mother Nature is favorable for the next few weeks, how much time do you need to get everything in the ground? We need about a week to 10 days because uh, we got some travel uh, some of the closer fields we got done early, which kind of makes sense. So now we got some traveling, but uh, a week to 10 days should do it for us. And I also should point out, based on our earlier conversation, your farms are kind of spread out with as much as 30 miles between north to south. That's got some travel time on the road you have to plan for as well. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know how to drive uh, against you with, <laughs> with the equipment. But yeah, we, we our base is in Auglaize County. We farm in Hardin, Logan, and Allen as well. Well, hopefully you'll have a very safe rest of the uh, planting season. Mother Nature will bless your operation and your family continues to uh, pull forward and, and move forward. Wheat, if we get lucky, 4th of July weekend? Probably between the 4th and the 10th, usually it comes off, depending on the, the heat days and stuff. What will you plant the uh, corn population at, given where we are in the calendar and so on? We're hitting 32, 32.5 on our population right now we're planting. I remember earlier in my sale days, guys were talking about 40,000. Everybody seems really happy now with 32 to 36,000. Seems to be a pretty good number for about everybody for some reason. That, that's true. And, and, you know, it varies on the ground. You know, we're, if you're on some clay ground or we got some muck ground, it, it, we can bump it up on that darker soil. On the way up, I saw some uh, wind turbines, lots of states talking about solar, and I'm still trying to figure out which one is the most energy efficient related to the ground that it uses. Has anybody ever talked about that in this area? Not that I know of, but I know you can farm underneath a wind turbine, and when they put the solar in, you can't do anything with that other than maybe feed goats. I was thinking the same thing. Plus, if it's windy, they can run all night, right? Exactly, exactly. So uh, we've been approached with these type of opportunities and we've taken advantage of none. We want to farm. And we thank you for doing that. We're at week number three, feeding farmers in the field with Fetter Farms in Allglaze County.